Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is part 5 of the Kotlin game. So, I've uh, added controls for Android. Um, I was looking at other mobile games, and it seems like almost every other game out there has some form of uh, on-screen keys. Like the arrows, A, B over here, so you're playing it like a controller. So, I just went with that. Uh, yeah. Another thing I had to um, try to get right was the size of the keys because I don't want the user having a hard time pressing these buttons. I know before uh, playing some games in the past that sometimes I would like misclick uh, one of these virtual buttons and it would uh, kind of annoy me. So I don't know. These might be too big because they're right in like taking up almost a third of the height of the screen but uh, I've tested it on my phone or I'm testing it on my phone right now and it's uh, it's really comfortable I mean I'm not misclicking anything uh, yeah another thing that I did was um, just trashed all the font stuff because I just can't find a good uh, sort of pixel looking font that has a border around it so I just yeah I went and just made my own numbers this I can probably remove but I put every single digit in here 0 to 9 <laughs> and then just made a class that can render um, the numbers given a position or given the number that I want so here it's move counter is going up because I have them going back and forth between these two arrows and yeah so that works. Uh, I should probably get rid of that. So now I added these uh, Android controls. Um, for now you can just click and then use the arrow keys here. Uh, restart to restart the level. And uh, yeah. So the back button that ideally is going to go to some kind of level select, eh, I still haven't done it yet because I'm trying to come up with something, anything. Here's so far, um, uh, I figured maybe something like this and then I would put like a uh, the numbers in here like this would be a box and then I put one two three and I can use the uh, these that I just made to uh, just render them inside these boxes and I would have these like um, laying out in a grid with the I don't even know but here there are three I'll just have these like in a grid like that or something And uh, even this way, and I would just uh, move them up here or something. I don't know. Um, so I'm just playing around with that. Uh, we'll see. I'll try to come up with something. <laughs> but uh, so far, that's pretty much it. Um, other things that I need to change are uh, the arrow keys. I'm probably gonna change that it looks kind of out of place and I might make them a little bit smaller but everything or I could just change the I'm also thinking about changing the entire color scheme of the UI like the restart and back buttons and the move and all the colors because everything else is pretty much green because <laughs> it's like the base color uh, so I figured maybe using a complementary color instead of green for everything else that's not like the background and the character and the tiles. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's it for this video. And uh, thanks for watching.